Hey everyone, first off, I just want to say thank you for subscribing to this channel. I started it six years ago and I just hit a thousand subscribers. So I'm really happy about that and it's really exciting for me. Um, I've come a long way since then, quite literally. Right now I'm in Missouri, uh, I'm no longer in Nashville. I no longer have my forest garden uh, that you've seen in other videos. I've kind of uh, given those plants away, spread those seeds and those cuttings and those transplants far and wide. Now I'm at the University of Missouri studying agroforestry. So for the next couple years, the videos are going to look a little different than they have in the past. It's going to be less focused on backyard uh, forest gardening, backyard homesteading, and more on um, tree cultivars, uh, agroforestry, uh, large scale uh, solutions to things like climate change, to uh, world hunger, really trying to scale up the, the ethos and really scale up the, the potential of uh, using trees to produce food, to sequester carbon, to enhance wildlife, to hold soil, all of the things that uh, they do so well. And um, I'll still be doing lots of other videos on things like tropical fruit and perennial vegetables um, as I take more adventures around the world, because I, I still love that as well. But I just wanted to update you on what I'm doing and what my focus is going to be on for the next couple of years, maybe longer. Right now I'm in the black walnut research uh, plot here, all sorts of different varieties of black walnut. These are all crosses between known varieties. And then we have another plot of the, the parents of this, uh, these trees here. And so we're studying how the genes move between the parents and the offspring. So we can, we can basically create new varieties that are going to be improved and we know what we're looking for as far as the, uh, the breeding goes. Black walnut is a pretty unimproved wild tree. It doesn't have a lot of domestication yet. So there's a lot of low hanging fruit, so to speak, to create new varieties that are really productive and profitable. And the translation of that for the environment means the more profitable it is to grow these trees, the more practical it is. Uh, that means more people are going to grow them across the Midwest and really around the world because it's a very high quality um, nut crop and also uh, very, very valuable timber as well. So uh, if we can get uh, more people growing trees on the landscape, especially in and amongst other crops in a process called alley cropping, that means more benefits to the environment and people overall. So it's something I'm really passionate about. I'll be talking a lot more about in other videos. Uh, thanks again for subscribing over the years. And uh, I don't know of any other YouTube channels that are bringing you like up-to-date agroforestry research. So I think it's going to be really exciting to see how this works out. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.